All right, so what I'm looking at today is trying to fix the window in the Falcon. Uh, I didn't find any real good clips to watch or any real information that solves my problem. You know, everyone says spray stuff in the windows and I've been spray, spraying Easy Glide on the windows for years and it fixes it up temporarily, but a month later you're spraying with Easy Glide again to, so the window doesn't get stuck. And so this is what's happening. Got the window down and you try to go up and it stops. Well, it's going up still right now, slowly, but see how it's going on an angle as well. Now, it could just be that these rubbers are really dirty and need a real good clean, but I'm going to take the door trim off and uh, we'll have a look to see if there's something going on with the mechanism itself because I don't think it should be doing that. The fact that I can move the window like that so I just want to make sure that everything inside the door is okay so we'll take that off uh, this will just unclip you know, I guess I haven't taken this trim off before there should be a screw behind there a screw behind there it's quite obvious that there's something behind there and two on the bottom uh, lift behind here for screwdriver to get the power window switches up uh, possibly a screw underneath there I'm not too sure and yeah then it'll be just unclip it and take it off so I'll take that off and have a look. Yeah, that just unclips. Just using a real small flat out screwdriver here to get behind here. No, there's nothing behind that one. And there's a 10 mil behind that one. Phillips head there. So that'd be Phillips head here as well. Power switches. Uh, if you ever have a problem with these, uh, I doubled WD-40 them ages ago because at one point they didn't work. All I did was uh, WD put WD-40 on to make sure all these contacts were nice and clean. You can see that I've scuffed them up actually. Make sure they're clean and then the switches work perfectly fine again. Uh, there's a Phillips head inside there. Screw on the end there. There's a 10 mil right there. So you can tell I've never had this card off before, otherwise I'd know all about this. And she pulls out. Oh look how easy that comes off now. I want to get this power connection here off first, so I can bring the door out because it looks like I have to unclip the connection from underneath that doorknob there as well. And uh, I this clip doesn't have anywhere to press, but I can see where it unclips from, so I'm just using that small screwdriver to slide in there. So I can just get the clip out. Like so. Now I'm going to get easier access over here. Okay, that screw's on. It's a bit old school, isn't it? That's going to be something that needs to be adjusted. I'm going to put it back on. Okay, now that's out of the way. this off looks like I'm gonna have to cut around because it's been put on before the cables and speakers only got connected on so I'll get a razor blade cut around those areas just so I can try and take that off as as much as one piece as possible all right so I've gone around and I've cut everything so I've cut it along here and along here to get past the cable here and that was already torn there so I just cut the rest of it there so I can get past there around here and around the speaker and I can get this cover off Close up. Okay, so if you look in the on the inside of the door there, that's just a center point. So nothing's loose there. It is designed to move like that. But what I've discovered is the rubber here has come out. And look at that. 
So what I'll do now is I'll take the rubber out and the window down is the best way to do this. It's difficult with one hand but I should be able to just pull that out and then I can give it a clean up and slide it all back in and make sure that rubber slides back into where it's supposed to be. Filthy as, if I can do the same with this idea, just pull it out to that point there. I don't really want to try and pull this off because I've got a wind visor on this and it looks like it's been pressed in against the, the wind visor is pressing in against that. I could have double sided tape on the wind visor and then I'll just make a bigger headache for myself. So I'll see if I can get the rubbers out on both sides like this so I can clean those tracks up. that window out because the clipping's on it if I get the side clips far enough out it's still got the two other clips on the center that needs to be unclipped as well so without breaking anything I can't get them out and I don't want to force it out so what I'm going to do is I'll get a cloth up here okay I'm going to slide that down the window here and wind the window up it slides between the puts the rag between the rails and the glass so it slides against the glass there on the rail my finger you can't see it but I'm holding both sides of the rail it's a little bit tricky to do but I want to make sure I'm holding both sides of that cloth against the rail so I know that the glass is sliding up between now that's pretty much the best I can do but I will still try and get in there and do as much as I can by hand. I could reach this side of the glass easy enough. Obviously can't reach the other side. So I'll do the same with the back one here now. First I'll slide up against the tracks a couple times. I'll push that glass that way just to make sure it stays in the rail there as it slides against the cloth. do what you can do, eh? Alright, now we'll clean those rails up. I'm only using water, I'm not using anything else. You use detergents or anything and it all gets sticky in here and that's what's happened with uh, over the years of using lithium grease or um, Easy Glide and so forth. That makes the rail sticky, so even though it works temporarily, you know that any dust or whatever is going to be getting stuck in there. I knew that when I was using the stuff. I just, that was the easy way out of it, you know, just spray it or something to make it glide easy. I just gave the rag a bit of a clean there before getting into this side now. I'm going to be here once, so make sure you give it a good clean, eh? Should have done this years ago. I've had the car since it was two year old. All right, time for another wash of the rag and keep cleaning until I get nothing off. On the last clean, I'll use a new, a new cloth as well. Yeah, nice and clean now. Okay, well that's, I'm not going to get much 
cleaner than that, so we'll put it back in now. I'll work on the front one. What I'm doing here is I've got it down as much as I could in the rail. I'm going to bring the window up into it and then push it down with the window. Okay, so to speak, our screws were just 5mm, five 5mm five mil socket, plug them out, drop the speaker out, and you can see the rubber didn't, isn't pressed in here properly. So we'll get into there, press that in. And uh, on the last clip, I was in the way, but you saw how the top part kind of came in by itself. That's because what I did on the bottom here was when the rubber was so far out, I held onto it and then wound the window down so I pulled the rubber down and it came into line at the top there and I just have to press it in definitely a lot better You can see in there, she squeezes tight right there. I'll see if I can fix that up. All right, I found the solution. Loosen the mirror, so that way when you push the rubber back in, it can go in behind the mirror there. And now, she goes up all the way, not a problem. That's all looking good in there, so. We'll put this back together. So basically you're just putting everything back together how you took it apart now so I'm not showing you step by step putting it back together but do be mindful. My door mechanism here um, I didn't feel any difference but I spotted that it was unclipped here so just make sure that everything's clipped in as you put it back together. You don't want to find out that you close the door and then you can't open it and have to put it all apart again. Everything's going good. Just an hour's work and my window's working properly again. Thanks for watching. Catch us next time. Cheers.